Have you ever gone camping or had a bonfire with family and friends? Or are you just an average American? If yes, you must have had marshmallows a few times, and you would agree that there's something special about that gooey sugar candy. You can eat them right out of the pack or choose to roast them first, but either way, marshmallows are great snacks, and you can never go wrong with them. The US has the largest marshmallow market in the world, and no other country comes close. However, only a small fraction of these customers are familiar with the process of making marshmallows. We go behind the scenes to see how marshmallows are made, as well as an insight into the special techniques used to make the popular jet puffed marshmallows. Marshmallows have been a popular favorite for centuries, and certain confectionery companies make a great deal of money from manufacturing and selling them. However, for most of the 18 and 1900s, the marshmallow manufacturing process was long and strenuous, and it didn't always yield the perfect result. But there weren't any other choices, so they carried on like that hoping for the invention of a new, perfect recipe. This miracle didn't happen until the 1950s, when a candy expert came up with the perfect solution to the marshmallow problem. This solution involved filling the marshmallows with air, just like a tire, and it worked like magic. This process is known as extrusion and it's still used till this day to produce the marshmallows we all love, including jet puffed marshmallows. The ingredients used to manufacture them are none other than sugar, corn syrup, and gelatin, which gives the marshmallows their soft and elastic texture, and since it's also a very important requirement, air should be on the list as well. While these are the basic ingredients, some others exist, but since they are used for flavoring, they differ from marshmallow to marshmallow. These include strawberry, cream, chocolate flavorings, and the like. Now that we've listed the ingredients, let's get into the production process. The first step is the production of gelatin, and even though it is a gooey process, it's done with the help of machines in the factory, so nobody has to get their hands dirty. Gelatin is made from collagen, a tough protein from animal bones and ligaments. Rather than being left to waste, these parts are sent off to the marshmallow factory, where they are boiled and the heat helps in the extraction process. Gelatin is rich in protein, which is a very important nutritional requirement, but apart from how useful it is in the human body, gelatin also acts as the backbone of a marshmallow, as well as a binding agent for all the other ingredients that will be mixed in the following production stages. The newly produced gelatin is kept aside while the sweeteners are mixed. These sweeteners are responsible for giving the marshmallows their taste, and they include sugar and corn syrup. These two ingredients are poured into a large stainless steel cooker and mixed using water before the entire mixture is brought to a boil. After boiling for a few minutes, the previously made gelatin and egg white mixture are added into the boiling kettle, and all these are left to boil together for a few minutes at a temperature of almost 200 degrees Celsius. After boiling, the mixture now has the desired consistency and smoothness. However, there are still some undesired lumps present. So before moving on to the next stage, the freshly boiled mixture is passed through a filtration machine, which allows only the smooth portion to pass through. Next, the mixture is passed onto a large container called a pump, where it is whipped. This whipping is more of a vigorous, continuous beating process, and at the end of it, the mixture foams up and becomes twice or thrice its original size. The flavors of individual marshmallow variants are also added during this process, and the vigor of the whipping process allows all the ingredients to mix together. After several minutes of whipping, the foamy mixture is now ready for the next step, extrusion. At the beginning of this video, we talked about extrusion being the solution to the marshmallow problem that was rampant before the 1950s, and now we're about to see what this step entails and why it's so special. After leaving the pump where it's been whipped, the mixture, which is still very hot, is sent over to a large machine called the extrusion machine, and which also doubles as a heat exchanger. Here, the air is pushed into the mixture, which helps to reduce its temperature and increase the marshmallow's fluffiness. After the air has been added, the mixture is sent to a cooling kettle, where it is further cooled before the next process begins. After cooling, the marshmallow mixture is sent through a pipe to another part of the extrusion machine, where it is shaped into the typical pillow shape that marshmallows are known to have. This machine uses a lot of pressure 
to convert the shapeless foam into long pillow-shaped strips. And these newly shaped marshmallows are extruded at all the eight outlets present at the end of the machine. These strips are placed on a conveyor which passes through a slitting machine that cuts them into individual marshmallows. The machine cuts hundreds of marshmallows per minute, all of which are sent to the next area, where they are prepared for packaging. From the slitter area, a conveyor transports these newly cut marshmallows to another machine where they get a coat of cornstarch. This improves the flavor of the snacks, helps them maintain their form, and prevents them from sticking to each other. Next, they're sent over to the cooling area, which cools them enough to be packaged and dusts off all the extra cornstarch. The regular marshmallows without any special coatings are sent straight to where they are packaged. However, the coated ones have one more stage to go through. Different kinds of coatings can be used to enrobe marshmallows, and just recently, Kraft Foods have added new additions to the Jet Puffed Marshmallows brand. These include the birthday cake, s'mores, and coconut flavors. These new variants are coated with coconut, chocolate, and vanilla flavorings, which means they have to undergo an additional process after the process we have described so far. And for reference, let us talk about the coconut flavor. First, plain marshmallows are passed through a machine called an enrober, which bathes them in a chocolate fondue thus forming a single thick layer of dark chocolate. After that, the conveyor transports the coated marshmallows to another machine where diced coconuts are sprinkled all over. Afterwards, these are taken to the cooling area with a lot of cooling fans, which increases the rate at which they dry up before they are taken to the packaging area. For the birthday cake flavor, the marshmallows are coated in white chocolate and rainbow sprinkles are added after and other flavors have their special coating procedure before proceeding to the packaging area. After drying, the marshmallows are taken to the packaging area, but before they are stuffed in bags, they're checked by skilled technicians and judges based on taste, appearance, and texture. Those that meet the company's standards are weighed, and a pre-measured amount of marshmallows is put into the branded bags. These bags are sealed and passed through a machine that prints the batch number and expiration dates on them. Before heading on to the boxing area, each bag is put through a metal detector to be sure there are no mechanical errors and to avoid issues during shipment. Finally, the marshmallows are boxed up and transported to retail stores worldwide. The craft company has always produced tasty marshmallows, which appeal to and attract customers. However, the company's sales initially skyrocketed after the idea to create the Jet Puffed brand probably because the name made it sound like the marshmallows were right out of space. This name was cool then because of everyone's sudden interest in space at the time, and even now, it's still catchy. Besides the product's name, the company makes millions of sales every year across and beyond America because of the unique taste of the Jet Puffed Marshmallows. How do you like your marshmallows? Leave your answer in the comments section below.